Lord Jesus Christ had just uh, healed a man and in uh, John chapter 5 and verse 10 the Jews therefore said unto him that was cured it is a Sabbath day it is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed the Lord Jesus Christ had just told this man to carry his bed he answered them he that made me whole the same said unto me take up thy bed and walk then asked they him, What man is that which said unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk? And he that was healed wist not who it was, or didn't know who it was, for Jesus had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. Afterward Jesus findeth him in the temple, and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus which had made him whole, and therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus and sought to slay him, because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. But Jesus answered them, My father worketh hitherto, and I work, therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, making himself equal with God. You know, there are many religious organizations in this world, and many people for that matter, and they don't believe that Jesus Christ is God. I'm here to tell you he is. One of his titles is Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. You see, God came down in the person of Jesus Christ to die upon the cross and taste death for every man so that you and I could be brought back to that holy, sin-hating God. We have a problem called sin, and those sins are taking us down to hell. And eventually the lake of fire for all eternity. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Repentance is to change your mind. Coming to God and agreeing with Him that yes, I realize that I'm a sinner. And then we need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Lord Jesus Christ shed his precious blood upon the cross as a full payment for all those who will put their faith in him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That can be yours this afternoon. You can get right with God. Your sins can be forgiven. Don't die without Christ because if you do, You'll go down to hell, into the judgment of God. God doesn't want that. I keep on saying, God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Just acknowledge that you're a sinner and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Your soul can be saved through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't miss out on God's salvation. He wants us to be in heaven. The only way we can be there is through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That could be yours, forgiveness for your sins, and a home in heaven through faith in none other than the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God from heaven, the one who came from heaven to die on the cross for your sin and for mine. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Why do you have that everlasting life? The only way we'll get everlasting life is through faith in Jesus Christ. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. And when I say life, I don't mean physical life. I mean spiritual and eternal life. That's what we need more than anything. It's peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 5.1 Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ.